Hey everyone, this is Mark with At Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be making a YouTube subscriber counter. This was inspired by different clocks that I've seen that are several hundred dollars that display your subscriber counter, but I wanted to make my own that cost around $30, much less than a several hundred dollar clock. This is actually very simple and easy to do. It integrates only a few components, it should be pretty simple for you beginners out there, and is really awesome, it even beeps when you get a new subscriber so you know when it's happening. So I wanna walk you through how to do this step by step. I've seen a lot of videos out there where people show it off, but not actually how to build it. So I wanna walk you through every single step of the process. So for this, we'll need a few things. We will need an Adafruit four digit LED screen, a Wi-Fi enabled Node MCU ESP Wi-Fi module board, and a speaker. We'll also need some wires and a breadboard. So the screen itself does need to be soldered. If you don't have any soldering skills or if you don't have a solder at all, you can buy them pre-soldered. It's a little more expensive, but it's really not that hard to do at all. If you have more than four digits of subscribers, there is a way to do another one of these using the A0 pin, which we can solder on. Put two screens in series. I'll drop a link to that down below if you have more than four digits of subscribers. From there, we will put our development board onto the breadboard, plug in our screen, and we only need to do four wiring. The positive will go to the VIN port, the five volt on our Arduino generic brand one. Negative will go to ground, D will go to D2, and C will go to D1. Our speaker will go to ground and D7. My speaker wasn't labeled, which one is positive and negative, so for you, it may take some trial and error. For me, I plugged it in the wrong way and it didn't actually work. So in that case, I knew that it was backwards. So I labeled it, so now I'm good. But just know that your speaker may not be labeled and it may be in the wrong way. So don't be worried if it doesn't work the first time. We are now done building the circuit. So let's go over to the computer. We'll go ahead and download and install Arduino. You can download the project that's in the description. We'll open this up and first we'll go to preferences and paste in the link that I have in the description. This will enable you to add the right board. We will then go to Tools, Boards, Board Manager. We'll go ahead, wait for it to load, and then search for ESP8266. You want to download and install that board. For me, I haven't been able to get it to work very well on 2.5, so I installed 2.4.2. You might want to start off with that one because I can verify that it does work, but if not, you can install 2.5 if you want. Next, we will go to board and then select our Node MCU 1.0. It may vary based on which board you buy, but I will have links to the one that I use in the description. And then you can set the settings how I have them right here if you have my same board. So now, as you can see at the top, we have all these include tags with all these different packages and libraries. To actually include those, we have to download them. So we'll go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries. Once this loads everything, we will go ahead and search for each of them and install them. So we'll search for Adafruit GFX, and then we'll select the version and then click Install. We'll do this for each of them, and then now we will have all the packages installed properly. Now it is time to get our Google API key. This is how you can connect to YouTube and everything. We will search for the Google API console. We will go ahead, log in, make an account if you need to, and then we'll make a new project. You can name it whatever you want, click create. And then once we are in our account, we can go to a library. You will go ahead and search for YouTube and we want the YouTube data API version three is what it currently is right now. We'll enable that API. We'll go back to our console and click on credentials create credentials, and then choose API key. This will make an API key, which is very private, don't share it with anybody, but we'll copy that API key, and we'll go ahead and paste that into the code right there. You also need your Wi-Fi username and password and your Google channel ID. So I wanna walk you through some of this code. Right here at the top, we have this API one right here, which is 10,000. That is milliseconds, which is 10 seconds. This is important because this is how often it checks for a new subscriber. And unfortunately, Google limits your API request to 10,000 requests per day. That means that you can't go more than that. If we check right here, it says queries 10,000. 
and you can't do more than 10,000 unless you apply for a higher quota. As you can see, I have already reached those limits on some of the earlier days of testing, but now that I've changed the update frequency, it's now capping out at around 8,000 for me. If you want to use a speaker, we will map that speaker pin right here. If you use a different one, you can change that from D7 to whatever you want. If you don't want a speaker, you can remove all of that code. It's in there and you don't have to worry about that at all. We'll scroll down and as you can see, we have two different sounds. We have a gained sound and a lost sound. These have three notes in them, but these notes aren't actually variables inside of the Arduino IDE. As you can see at the top, we have a tag that says include pitches.h which is actually a separate file that I've included for you. And this maps each frequency of sound to a certain note. This will allow you to play whatever note you want and not have to worry about the frequencies involved. From there, we will go ahead and set up our API, ask Google how many subscribers we have. We will set the variable subs to our current YouTube subscriber count. If our count is greater than the previous count, meaning that we got a subscriber, it will then play the gained sound on our speaker. Then if our current subscriber count is less than the previous count, meaning that we lost a subscriber, it will then play that lost sound. We will then print out the count on the screen and set the previous subscriber count to the current one so that they will both be equal and it will be able to check again. Now what I built right here is a separate, different way of doing it. This is using an Arduino Uno and a completely different screen. This is just to show you that you can in fact do this on any Arduino as long as you have a Wi-Fi module. This is the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, the exact same one that's built into the previous development board we were using. The only difference is that this one's much bigger and they work in different ways. But if you want to use the current hardware and tools that you have, you don't have to go out and buy everything that I have right here. All you need is a Wi-Fi module but it is a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. But now we are done. Everything is completely working. Anytime we get a subscriber or lose the subscriber, it will play a different sound on the speaker. It updates every 10 seconds. And as you can see, it may not be the most prettiest thing right there, but we can get a circuit board right here. This is a perforated project board. It is a semi-permanent way of mounting everything. And then we can do something like this example right here where you can mount it inside a shadow box. This is a really great source for what I use a lot on this project as well. So definitely check this video out. I'll drop a link to that down in the description below if you wanna mount this in a shadow box and make it look much prettier and more permanent. But there you go. That is a very simple, quick, and easy way to make a YouTube subscriber counter. It works really nicely. Again, if you have more than four digits of subscribers, I'll drop a link to an example of that one in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech and I'll see you in the next one.